Hello. The question is, can we say whether foreign influence on Nigerian family are positive or negative? First, we should be open to new cultures, but should not discard our traditional cultures. Instead, we should try and combine the best in both. Now, our topic is changing family life. Changing family life. These days, family lives are changing as a result of a number of factors. Okay? Now, first let's see the meaning of family. Family, this is a group of people related by blood, marriage, or adoption. The British first colonized Nigeria and they brought English into the country. Now let's look at types of family. We have nuclear family and we have extended family. The nuclear family is a smaller unit while the extended family is a larger unit of family. So the nuclear family is made up of the father, the mother, and the children. But in most cases, it can be just a child. Okay, so we've seen that a family is that group made up of um, father, mother, and children for the nuclear family. Now, let's look at the extended family. It's that family where you have aunties, uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces. You have all the larger units of members of the family, even in-laws. Now, the changes in family lifestyle can be linked to growing foreign influence in Nigeria. Now, through the English language, family systems and practices, through the food, music, and dance that these foreigners have brought, it has really influenced our way of life. Now, we're going to start with the English language that was brought in by the British. They actually colonized us, and today, English is our official language, okay? So, in offices, in schools, and in homes, we speak the English language. And this has made the young Nigerians, they no longer speak their mother tongue fluently. They don't understand some aspects of their culture, their proverbs, and festivals, okay? So, the extended family oftentimes live and stay together, and they do things together. But today, it's a different thing. Now, let's look at the family systems and practices. Most family systems and practices in Nigeria, traditionally, okay, we are made up of parents, grandparents, and so on and so forth. Now, you've seen systems whereby children are living in better environments, okay? These are the influences of the white people compared to how we used to live in the old where you will have your traditional pots, your traditional hearts, okay? Everything looks a bit archaic, but now you can see that things are actually changing due to the influence of foreign, uh, foreign colonization on, on the country. So families are doing things in newer ways better means of transportation, better cooking methods. Now, food is another aspect. Traditionally, Nigeria, food include yam, cassava, okay, you have our uh, soups, you have our yams. But today, the foreign influence have uh, made us to take pizzas, uh, spaghetti, hamburgers, chips, and cakes, bread, and all forms of foreign foods, even vegetables, okay, cakes, sweet foods and healthy meals so these meals are good and they've actually influenced the way we cook our food many persons don't prefer swallows these days that is they don't prefer their bar normal soups okay they prefer the foreign meals which okay have been taught like this man is making some uh, toast with bread i'm sure this is uh, some minced meat then you will see him put over some cheese upon the bread he's trying to make either breakfast okay for his family so in modern times unlike in the traditional olden days you can see that customs are changing and evolving people are um, emulating the families abroad both in europe and north america okay whereby um single families that is uh, nuclear families they live on their own without members of the extended family okay so the family where you have the father the mother and the children they can be together making their thing now music and dance is another thing that have influenced 
our family life. It's one of the factors causing changes in family life. Traditionally, we have drumming. Drumming is an important part of Nigerian traditional culture. You can see the cultural displays of Nigeria, okay? But we are very good with high life, Afrobeat, Juju, and so on. But today, young ones uh, prefer, okay, hip-hop, R&B, and foreign musics and artists, and they dance to their tunes. They prefer it compared to uh, olden days, uh, traditional music and dances. So like I said, this have been a very great influence in changing our family life in Nigeria. Now, religion influences on Nigerian family life. This is another broad topic. Okay, we have the Christian religion, the Muslim religion, you have the traditional religion. All these re various religious practices, families embrace them, okay? So it affects family values, um, family ceremonies, marriages, education of the children, okay? Now we have Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism. When you look at the image here, you will see that Islam... And the Christianity, Islam is represented like the moon and star. The Christian religion is represented by the cross. And you can see the numbers of followers. Then you can see traditional religion being practiced in Africa and the number of followers. Okay. Now the Christians worship in the church while the Muslims in the mosque. That's the religious practices. So most couples or most families, even in the traditional religion, most families want their children to do all they've been doing as regards their religion. Then you have working Nigerian parents. Truly, it's not easy as parents, both parents to be working because, first of all, one of the advantages is that there will be more income than better living standards for the children because the incomes will come. But the pressures are always piling up. Oftentimes, you see disadvantages. Uh, uh, you see they may not have adequate time for the children, and everybody will be throwing accusation on who to take care of the children. There will be a lot of pressure, okay, when parents, when both parents or children are catered for. Then we have inter-ethnic marriages. First of all, we know that marriage is a union, legal union between a man and a woman. So inter-ethnic marriage is that marriage within different ethnic groups, couples are from different ethnic groups, then there's what we still call intra-ethnic marriage. Intra-ethnic marriage is now marriage of the same ethnic group. Okay, there are reasons why this is so. Most times, where people live, they live in their main environment that they were born in, so they pick wives from there. Then family pressure, you must marry from my clan, and then prejudice, they just judge people from the way they see them. These are images of inter-ethnic marriage, marriages between people of different culture. Then you can still see intra-ethnic marriage. That is a marriage between people of the same culture. Okay, we have seen that truly uh, families are being influenced through language, through food, through dance, and through practices. There are many foreign influences on modern Nigerian family life. This lesson activities on changing family life, we are going to look at the debate whether foreign influences on Nigeria family life are positive or negative. Okay, there are some positive effects which has helped us and it has helped to drive, to drive us to improvement. It has helped curiosity of life. It has opened a world of learning and analyzing what, why and how we are like. And what we can do to better this world. Even, even helping us to have English as our official language. Eating contemporary foods. Knowing diet and balanced mm -hmm. meals. Dancing to contemporary music. Okay. Then making solutions to software development. And all the good things of health, technology have brought through the influence of foreign culture. The negative effect of this foreign influence is that most families are discarding their traditional cultures and embracing foreign culture. In other words, most children cannot fluently speak their mother tongue and they have been addicted to foreign meals, which oftentimes have caused lots of obesity in their children. And then dancing to foreign music, leaving the ones with the local content. All in all, what we are trying to say is that when Nigerians adopt new cultural practices, they often add a local touch to them, which is helping families to grow. 
Thanks for watching this video and I know you will do all the exercises in your test book. Ensure you complete them properly. Thanks and be good.